are in Mammoth Mountain, California on a quick little ski trip. Supposedly it's about to snow like crazy. So there might be some fresh powder tomorrow. We just got in town. We're gonna hit some runs before it gets nuts. So we're gonna go back to the lodge, relax. So if you guys wanna check out Mammoth Mountain and the skiing, beautiful scenery and this cute little ski town, and then just keep on watching. Make sure if you haven't done so already that you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's go hit the slopes. Was officially the shortest ski day in history. We literally went down one bunny slope and then the storm came in and they shut everything down. So hopefully tomorrow will just be nice and powdery. And we're just gonna relax at the lodge, get a snack, get some food, the hot tub. It's really snowing now. Ah! Wow, <laughs> I'm glad we drove up early today. This started snowing like two hours ago. There's already so much snow. It's gonna be a good powder day tomorrow, that's for sure. Oh my God, it's like a blizzard. <laughs> How much do you think has fallen since we got here? It's gonna go till 2 a.m. So we're at the Lodge, the Sierra Nevada, or something like that. This is the second time that we've stayed here. It's a really cute place to stay. It has kind of like a retro vibe and it's pretty affordable. So that's why we like it. And it's close to mountain. So I'm trying to speak quietly because I'm walking in the hallway and it's kind of embarrassing. I'm on the right path. The jacuzzi's outside. I have to go outside. Okay, let's do this. Ho 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 ho! Crap, crap, crap! Oh my! It is really snowing in this hot tub right now. One thing that I love about staying at the Sierra Nevada Resort and Spa is that they have a spa. You can get a massage if you want, but even if you're not booking a massage, you can go use their sauna and steam room amenities, and it's so peaceful. It's not exactly sauna-ish in here yet, because the girl just turned it on, but at least it's toasty. That was really crazy. I felt really alive walking from the jacuzzi back inside. Whew, feeling the blood flow again. <sighs> Another thing I love about staying at this resort is their lobby is just so cozy and inviting. This fireplace is huge and there's these benches that sit all around it so you can go and get warm and just relax. I also love that they have a pool table that you can use and foosball. Their staff is always so helpful and nice. I also really love that this resort offers a shuttle service to and from the mountain free of charge, and you can arrange to be picked up at the mountain at a time that it works for you, which is much better than taking the bus back when you're tired. Your girl loves her coffee, and I love the coffee station they have here in the lobby. They keep this coffee warm and fresh constantly and it's just the best thing. Oh my god, they have hot cocoa and hot apple cider. My ski trip coffee drink of choice is coffee with half a packet of hot cocoa. It is so good.
I had to grab something out of my car at this point before dinner, but I wanted to show you all how much snow had fallen on my car since we arrived earlier that day. It was absolutely wild. Go the other way. Get around the the front there too by the by the rearview mirror. So far, I've slipped and fallen on my ass twice because of the ice. Yeah, but we're going to dinner. It's dinner time. So, so deep from when we came here before. For dinner that night, we decided to check out Blue Kitchen and Bar because it was such a quick walk from our hotel, basically five minutes. And in those five minutes, yes, I did manage to fall twice. Thank you. This restaurant is kind of new and I'm really happy we tried it out because it's actually really cool. They open every day at 11 a.m. They have a bakery that makes fresh baked goods. And then they have this whole marketplace area where you can buy wines, different kinds of beer, kombucha. There's some fresh produce. They have a salad bar. They also have a butcher's area. It's kind of like an all-in-one place. And their dinner menu is so delicious. We really enjoyed our meal here. Do you just want to eat all my food? Always. <laughs> Burr! Let's get a drink. we walked back over to our resort and went to rafters for a cocktail this place is actually connected to the resort we were staying at and it's a great place to go grab a drink it was a little slow on this night because it was a thursday but on fridays apparently it is poppin and they have live bands perform and the bartender was really cool and had quite a nice pour I grabbed the Icon Pass last summer, which we paid $600 for, and it basically allows you to ski so many resorts for just that fee. There are some blackout dates, but it's a really cool thing, and I highly recommend if you ski or snowboard to look into it in summertime when they go on sale again. After all that snow that we got the day before, the powder was so light and fluffy that day, and it was sunny and beautiful. Unfortunately, we did not wake up early enough for fresh tracks, but the snow was so soft and perfect nonetheless. Go. Ah, that was awesome. Where are we going? We're here going to do, 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 do. We're going to ski down here. Take eight. Go up and ski here a little bit. If you have the Icon Pass, you get 15% off or you get like discounts on food and stuff some places. So that's a perk. Been out for about what, two, two hours now? Yeah. Nate is taking me on some runs that I absolutely hated. You loved it. It's really 
nice outside. We stopped for lunch at the mill and I really liked their lunch options here. I went with the Korean bowl because I was trying to be healthy and it actually was so good. It's good. We brought our own beverages today. Save a couple bucks. This stuff is actually really good. Trades were my favorite. So nice. Oh, my legs are killing me. I'm just waiting for Nate to come out of whatever tree trail that he's in. I uh, can't see him yet. Cut to the footage of that he took oh, on the man. GoPro. It is. was a log. Woo! I beat Nate to the bottom, so I think that means he has to buy me a drink. Comment down below if you agree. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Why is there snow in your beard? I just jumped in the pile and went down. It was great. <laughs> oh. I'm tired though, man. My legs are just done. You look like an old man because it looks like you got like a white mustache. After ski, you know what's next. Apre ski, my favorite time of the day. We headed down to the village in Mammoth to this restaurant and bar where we got a discount with our icon pass. So every appetizer comes with a complimentary drink. I decided to order off the menu and get gold rushes. It's whiskey, lemon juice, and honey on ice, and it's so good after you've been in the cold. For dinner, we decided to go back to a spot that we have been to before, Mammoth Tavern. Their food is so delicious, and they're always really busy, so if you can call ahead and make a reservation, I highly recommend doing that. Checked out of our hotel, 
we're just headed back to LA now, enjoying some beautiful scenery on the road. But before we go home, we're gonna stop in Bishop, which is a really cute little town that's about 35, 45 minutes drive from Mammoth. So if you're coming or going from Mammoth uh, to Southern California, it's a really cute place to stop. There's a couple really good places to eat. Um, a really awesome beef jerky spot that we're gonna hit on the way home. So I'll show you guys around a little bit there and then we will start driving home. So get this, we're married, right? So like what's mine is his and what's his is mine. Isn't that like kind of the idea of marriage? He just <laughs> accused me of in the future eating all of the beef jerky that we're about to buy. Eat all the beef jerky? That is so rude and it's not true. And I'll have done. It'll be done for me. <laughs> Well, then maybe you should buy some extra and you should hide it somewhere. Or I That's exactly what I'm going to do. Nate's own mahogany meat hideout. It's so good. I can't resist it. And it's on keto. So it's like a delicious snack for me on my diet. got the meat it's expensive it's like almost like 30 something dollars a pound but you know what it's worth it it's so so good so if you like beef jerky or any kind of jerky or smoked anything you have to check out the spot okay well. mm. the honey turkey is so good sorry to all the vegetarians and vegans that mm. spot's not for you but mm, so good mm. Shots Bakery. We have loved stopping here for quite some time. Anytime we go skiing in Mammoth, we always make it a point to come here. They have the most delicious baked fresh bread. And as you can see, they have all kinds of different types of bread, as well as fun different jams and all these different baked sweets. It's honestly such a cute little place and you can get a delicious sandwich for lunch as well or a salad if you're on keto like I was. What are you gonna get? Thank you. Thank you. So we're here at Eric Schott's Bakery. It's literally right off the street when you're driving to and from Mammoth. It is so good. It's a great place to get lunch. They have amazing sandwiches, but their breads and their baked goods are where they really shine. Like, it is so amazing. And apparently it's been open since 1903. Pretty wild. Well, <clears throat> that concludes our quick little getaway to Mammoth. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done it already, hit subscribe. We're gonna hit the road and get back to LA. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.